In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a voting poll in Google Forms. So I'll show you everything that you need to know from creating the form to getting the shareable link. And then I'll show you how you can view all of the responses. So the first thing you want to do is go to Google Forms. The quickest way that you can get here is just by Google in Google Forms and then it will take you here. Now, once you're on Google Forms, you obviously need to be logged in to a Google account. And then once you've done that, you need to go to blank form and we're going to create a new blank form today. So for you, you probably already have your question set up, but I'm going to go ahead and make one up on the spot here. So we'll just call this voting poll. You can obviously write out the title of your poll here and give your poll a description. Once you've done that, you can then collect email addresses. Now, if you don't want an email address to be submitted, you can go ahead and go to change settings. Then if you go to responses, you can go here to where it says collect email addresses and you can turn this off. So click do not collect. And then if you go back to your questions section, you can see you now obviously don't require an email address. Now it's up to you whether you want to require an email address or not. If you want a simple poll, you can just turn that off. So then you've got the next step, which is going to be your question. So by default, it will add a multiple choice question. If it doesn't, you can click here on this add question button and then you can choose multiple choice because there's already one there for me. I'm just going to use this one. So now we're going to ask a question. So I'll ask here, where should I travel to? And then because this is a multiple choice question, we can now create different choices. So option one, maybe I put here Thailand. Option two, Vietnam. Option three, we could put China. And you can go ahead and add all of these different options here because it's a multiple choice. You can also add images as well. So if I wanted to get an image of Thailand, I could go to Google. Then I could type in Thailand. Then I could type in here Thailand, go to images, and we could select an image of Thailand. So maybe we want this one. So I could right click and then save this image as. Then once you've got your image downloaded, you can go to this add image section. Go ahead and browse and you can find where you've got your image saved. So in me, it's going to be in the downloads. So I had to go ahead and download a different image, but nonetheless, download an image in a PNG format and then you can go ahead and upload it to Google Forms. Again, I'll leave that up to you. Obviously, you're going to have different needs and you might not even want to add an image. So here we've got an image of Thailand. We can go ahead and repeat this same process for the other countries as well. Go ahead and make sure that required is checked. So the only way that someone can actually submit this poll is actually by answering this question. Now you want to go ahead and send this. So if you go to send in the top right hand corner, you can then get a link which you can shorten with this button here. Now this link is going to be your unique link to your form. So we can go ahead and copy this and then send this to whoever. When someone views this form, it will look like this. And obviously we've got our images here on Thailand and we will do the same for Vietnam and China. Where should I travel to? I'm going to click here Thailand and submit. And now that response will have been saved. And now me as the voting poll owner, I'll now see the responses in this responses section. And you can see here you've got a pie graph of the answers. You can also go to question and you can see all of these different responses. And you can view your responses in a spreadsheet. If you go ahead and click link to sheets, you can create a spreadsheet as well. But that is a bit more complicated. If you just want to see all of your answers, you can just see them here. So that's how to do it. I hope that video did help you out.